identical resistance are joined as shown in figure. The equivalent resistance between points A and B is R1 and that between A and C is R2. Then the ratio of R1 by R2 is the equivalent resistance between the points A and B is R1 and between A and C is R2. We want to find out the ratio of R1 by R2. So now observe the circuit diagram. In between A and B points, 2 ohm resistor is connected. So first point is A and second point is B. So 2 ohm resistor is connected in between A and B. And 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm. These three resistors also connected in between A and B. And these three resistors are in series. Or S is equals to 2 plus 2 plus 2. That is equals to 6 ohm. So another resistor in between A and B. 6 ohm resistor. Now these two resistors in parallel. RAB is equals to R1 that is equals to 2 into 6 by 2 plus 6 12 by 8. So that is equals to 3 by 2 ohm. Next we want to find out the equivalent resistance in between A and C points. One side 2 ohm, 2 ohm. These two resistors are connected in between A and C. And this side also 2 ohm, 2 ohm. These two resistors are connected. These two resistors are in series. So Rs is equals to 2 plus 2. That is equals to 4 ohm. So first point is A and the second point is C. In between A and C, this side 4 ohm resistor and another side also 4 ohm resistor. These two resistors are connected in parallel. The equivalent resistance in between AC, R2 is equals to 4 into 4 by 4 plus 4. That is equals to 16 by 8. That is equals to 2 ohm. Now finally we want the ratio of equivalent resistance in between AB and AC. So R1 by R2 is equals to 3 by 2 by 2. So that is equals to 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 is equals to 3 by 4. So R1 is to R2 is equals to 3 is to 4. So now check the given options. Second option is correct answer. 